Um, I'm going to talk about how uh, Finalize and iDisposable got introduced into the .NET framework. Um, I was a contractor on the .NET team even before .NET 1.0 shipped. And one of the things I was particularly interested in was the garbage collector because I'd been a C and C++ programmer doing my own manual memory management for decades of my life. So I wanted to make sure I really appreciated the garbage collector and felt that it could give me good performance and work well. One of the things I quickly ran into, though, is that when you're writing data to a file, it typically gets written to a buffer in memory first, and when the buffer is full, then you write to the file in order to do less I.O. operations, which improves performance. If um, iDisposable didn't exist at the time, and while the finalized method on object does exist, the garbage collector calls it. So if you just let go of the buffer and you let go of the file stream object, then they're going to be finalized in some random order by the garbage collector. And if the file gets closed first, then the buffer tries to write to the file when it gets closed by the GC. And since the file is closed, that results in an exception being thrown. So we quickly realized we needed some mechanism for how to clean up resources explicitly by the program, not just by the GC, in order to work around this problem. So I had brainstormed for a while, and I thought, well, since object has a finalized method on it that's protected, why don't we just make that method public? And then any piece of code could go and call it. But we were always so close to shipping.net, even though it got delayed, and we, people were afraid to make that kind of destabilization um, move on system.object, the base class of everything. So they asked me to come up with another pattern, and so I came up with the iDisposable interface with its dispose method, and then we created guidelines for how to use that. But in hindsight, I think things would have been much simpler and easier if Finalize had just been made public.